Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, joined here with Master D Shaky. Hope you're all having a great rest of your day, and right now we are going to finish up this little subcontinent called the Raj. And D Shaky, what are you doing right now? I'm just deciding where best to put my tanks. I, I'm, I'm running out of supply in the Balkans, so I might move some tanks to Germany, maybe make some moves there, try to capitulate France or something. We'll see. Wherever the supply is is where my efforts are going to be today. Nice. I'm casually only 63,000 guns out. Whatever. 6,000 pieces of artillery out. No one cares because we have five ships. The Chinese, or the People Liberation's Army's Navy has five ships, including one capital ship and four screens. The perfect template. Even though you really want to double this in size for a single task force. Whatever. But now we have a fleet. <sighs> And a good fleet too. It's not, these guys, they're not they're not the best. But they, they do what they do. Oh wait. Oh, I'm gonna work Venice. Oh, I said I did that last time. Yeah. You know what? Um hmm. Do I wanna give Dishiki a little more difficult of a time? Maybe. I might do that. Wait, what? I can no. go to War with Venice. Oh yeah. Oh, retake course. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. Oh, come uh, on. Trieste is almost encircled again. Oh, no. Oh, boy. You better tell them oh, allies. The no, US... no, no. Yeah, the allies have 18 divisions in Danzig, too. That's that's annoying. Hmm. That's a lot. That's a lot of guys. <laughs> yeah. That's right. They're about to have 19 or 20. Oh, they're, they're taking some out. Good. Goodbye. Also, we discovered last time as to why DJK couldn't buy anything from me. It's because I'm on closed economy. So, if, it, if anyone was wondering, I have closed the economy. Oh, the Raj is looking so pitifully bad and ugly, but it's looking so good at the same time. I did it! Yes! Yep, they are, finally. It only took us a couple years. Hey, that actually gave me like 40,000 guns, roughly. Wow. Yeah, that that's perfect. Yeah. I think it was close to 70,000, but yeah, that's good. And when I make like, how many guns do I make a day? Like seven, like 300, I think? I make 400 guns a day, so that won't take too long to get out of that deficit. Yeah, uh, no, that, that's good. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Guys, keep smashing. So I'm, I'm justifying on Portugal. Oh, that probably caused even more, a few more issues for you, but uh, it would be good to go to Portugal so I can get some one of my cores back, and then yeah. Hmm. Oh, Japanese. We're defending against Chilean subs, huh? Norwegian subs, huh? Not bad. Yeah, the Allies have just bombed the infrastructure into nothingness now, so now my tanks can't really do anything. Oh. At least I got a few encirclements, so it's not like nothing came out of the Bal Balkan campaign, but mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's sad. I have to retreat from there. Oof. Yeah, these tanks are no good without any supply. Yeah. Well, time to build a god-huge navy. A massive Air Force. Oh no, Navy. Why do I say Navy? I love the Navy so much right now. But uh, Air Force. Yeah. I mean Air Force. Hmm. Eastern Germany is getting invaded, but what else is new? Yeah. No. Supply problems in Southern India. Oh, whatever, that's fine. Because I'm actually building up so much infrastructure everywhere. It'll happen eventually. Good. After this... Oh, I might just go to war with Iran. Maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be smart. And then you could 
pick up the right rack to and then maybe start helping with the allies in the Mediterranean. Yeah, I'll probably take out... Eh, it might be best if I go to war with Afghanistan. First, even though that in yeah. itself sounds like a terrible idea. I'm gonna need a massive air force for that. Which is okay. It could be worse. So many guys. Come on. Alright, everyone. I'm actually seeking a few convoys here and there. Yes. Now, this is down here. They are doing absolutely god awful. Nice. Very nice. Throw the guns. I know. I know. Steel and aluminum. Always things I'd never have enough of. And then build up another one right there. You know what? I think I have enough refineries for now. I don't need any more fuel. Oh, well, not too much more fuel. And with me owning Northern Malaya, we'll be fine. Alright guys, let's position you guys a little bit better first, and do that. Okay, and lots of progress in Germany, it looks like this front oh. is pretty open, and nice. Japan is reinforcing me here too. I don't know why Japan sent divisions all the way over here, but <laughs> I'm not really complaining, I guess it's fine. Nice. All those guys are cut off, I think. Oh, they have a little supply through here to here to here to here. Um, yeah, if you could take, like, uh, you probably can't, but, like, like Lu Ljubljana, I think it's the pronunciation, like, that area, cut all these guys off, and then bomb like a living crud out of the Adriatic. Yeah. I just, I can't get air superiority down there Oof. right now. That's my one problem. They just have so many fighters. Like, if you look at the Allies, every nation has, like, 10,000 fighters. 10, like the UK has 20 to 25,000 planes. So oh, God. That's just miserable right now. Nope, oh, down to the building airports. I'm getting more manpower back. Nice. Alright, so since we stopped attacking, I'm only 38,000 guns behind. Only 4,700 guns behind. Motorized is, well, we don't speak about motorized. Man, that really sucks, me having to catch up this entire time. Ooh! Ooh! A little bit more Communist uprisings! In oh, okay. Um, That was supposed to be for Taiwan. Okay, okay. You guys should be strong enough to go now, to, especially take the port. And Afghanistan. Oh, nice. And nice. it's been forever since we lost Denmark, but that finally might be ours again. Cool. Finally. That'd be really good, yeah. Yeah. Let's go support fighters, bombers. Heavy fighters. Study Soviet aircrafts. I think that'd be quite good. Nice. Another encirclement. Twelve British boys. Bye bye. Ah, good. We've encircled them. Now I trapped. How many divisions is that? 30 plus? 4 plus 34 is usually 38. Yes. That costs us a lot of guys, but that's okay. Alright, everyone. Ah, oh, beautiful.
Actually, how strong is Afghanistan? I can't imagine they're that weak. Three to 15 divisions, but they're fighting in mountains. they got a ton of manpower. Woo! Some dive bombers. Nice. Maritime bombers, maritime bombers, dive bombers. Oh, yeah. Eastern Germany is automatically getting cores on some of the stuff that belonged to West Germany. Hmm. So that's that's cool. Let me see. Ooh. East Germany. Oh, yeah. Turingen. Not Hanover yet, but yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Or maybe it's just automatically turning over to them. Well, they got that one, but. We shall see. Very interesting mechanics. I like that you're getting Schleswig Holstein. Very nice. Yep. They have 23 divisions in Danzig, but good luck with that, allies. Yeah. I really don't know what they're doing there, but they're not going to make much, much progress. Man, that would, be, that would be so bad. If you're an American stuck all the way over there, like, oh, what are we doing over here, man? Yeah. The, the great and kind of pointless defense of Danzig at that point. My goodness. Um, all right, so I'm going to send, let's see, how many divisions? One, two, three, four, five, hundred. Five times four is usually 20. So 120 divisions to take out Macau. We should be able to do that. Is Persia in the Allies? They shouldn't be, right? Good. So this way, Afghanistan can't get any help. That's a very good thing. Oh, you guys are still stuck down here. That's actually fine with me. Oh, hey, we sunk another convoy. Very nice. Two, ah, uh, two more screens in Hong Kong. More? Am I making dive bombers? Or are we just stealing dive bombers? We must be stealing them or something. Hmm. So I need to go to war with. Do you care if I go to war with Venito? Just uh, it's another ally you have to kill, but eh, I don't know. It, it it's fine. I mean, I yeah. can't imagine it's going to really hurt you too much more. Yeah, I'm pretty. We're we're pretty much at war with the entire world at this point, so yeah. It's Perfect. Fine. Actually, before we focus more on that stuff, it's I need to do 45 stuff. Get some more output for now. Over here, we're gonna grab even better maritime patrol bombers. Sunk another convoy. Mm. People Liberation's Army's Navy. That's so weird. Even in real life, like the, the uh, or People's Republic of China, their like army, air force, and navy is all People's Republic. Oh, no, People's Liberation Army. You'd be the actual army oh, or yeah, the yeah. navy. It's so weird. I've heard about that. That's just that's such a long name. You think you would they would have simplified it? Like, they just People's Army, People's Liberation Army, People's Liberation yeah. Navy. Just like, yeah, come on, guys. We're trying to make you look better. <laughs> yeah. Giant emphasis on the People's Liberation. Yes. Liberate Germany. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's going to be well before we get that. Oh, I should not have continued working on that. That's okay. It's 1945, 1945. Oh, I don't even have radar yet. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? I mean, that's all I do know in the Road 56 you can build up, but you have to research first to get to be able to build steel mills, aluminum mills, and stuff like that. I just don't have the research to get that, so that's why I'm trying to build more infrastructure up eventually, too. So, If anyone yeah. who's watching is wondering, that's what I'm doing it for. God dang, India looks so good. Alright, if that's the case. Uh, are we ready to go to war? Eh, we're almost there. So, uh, do you care if I add in Portugal? Um, no, yeah, that shouldn't really change anything because I want like my cow back yeah that's that's good oh they, they literally have no buildings there wow that sucks the 
This way I can sp spread my armies out a little bit further and I can actually probably take over Afghanistan eventually. You know what, with this little tip here, I'm gonna let them come through. And then, just cut them off, that'd probably be best. Mmm, hmm, I have an idea. I have it, definitely an idea. We need more military factors for this, though. 60? Oh, 80. Build those up. So, what I'm thinking is... Oh, how much are you doing that, too? Cool. Uh, I need more naval bombers. But then I'll use my naval bombers to uh, sink the convoys that are going in to... Danzig. Oh yeah, that that's good. We might need some air superiority, but we'll see what happens. To the lower yeah. Baltic Sea. Hey, we sunk another convoy. Another convoy. Ah, tis beautiful. All right, Mal, you were able to take Macau with 120 divisions. Nice job. And we own the Straits in Denmark, too, so that I don't know what that does exactly. The Something. enemy might still get supply there, maybe, maybe not, yeah. I'm not exactly sure, but that's still good that you got it back. Yeah. This way, I, they can't I, leave. I, yeah, I can't remember how straight mechanics work for sure, but I'm, I'm, sure it's, I'm sure it's a good thing somehow, at least, even if it's just recovered territory. Let's see. Oh, there's a little hua, I see. Uh, there's sometimes you just can't even see that there's impassable terrain here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're losing kilometers. Sucks. Cool. Nice. So now I just have to fight new enemies. I, hmm. How many ships? I don't have that many ships. I still only have seven. It would be pretty dangerous if I were to launch and try to find enemy navies off this shore of China. Hmm. I'm not sure how effective these uh, planes are going to be when fighting in the mountains, but that's okay. Yeah. Ooh, that's oh, they force. decrease the amount of divisions in Danzig. They have a tank in there now. Oh. The tank is pretty bad, but yeah. Nice. Could be a walk from you before I can do anything there. That's fine. That's totally fine. Just working on my gun deficit for now. And artillery. Actually, artillery is doing really well. We were at minus 4,700, now we're only minus 800. Motorized. Oh my goodness. Um, nothing yet. It's fine. Save, save, save. Alright. Well, I do have 37 maritime patrol bombers trying to work in the Baltic Sea, but they're not seeing anything yet. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. There's, there's a lot of there's a lot of allied sea activity going on there. That's Only if I could bring my navy from the Black Sea to there, but Turkey's not going to let me do that. I just go to war with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? If you want, I could probably defend your border at the very least. Yeah. Because since Mal's not really got much going on. Mm -hmm. If I if I get if I get stuck somewhere again, I might declare war on Turkey or or Bavaria most likely. You know what? Ashkabad. Uh, I'm not sure if it'd be if I could do this, but uh, ask you to maybe increase infrastructure in Ashkabad, maybe? One, two, three. Where do we put another group? I have nowhere to put these guys. Ashkabad. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll build some of that infrastructure up. 
just need to go over there. That's fine. Okay. Yep. And they're they're losing in Danzig finally. <sighs> nice. You guys are hanging out. You guys to Goa, which is awesome, 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 awesome. I'm not sure why I have you guys separated. Just come over here. There you go. I guess I'll take out that little American uh, American armies down there um, in Germany. Not sure why they're still there, yeah. but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just kind of chilling there while, while I'm trying to do other things. Oh, I, oh, he actually sucks something else. Another convoy. That's pretty good. Um... I don't know how these maritime patrol bombers have this much range. I'll take it. I won't complain too much about it. Hmm. You know, instead of doing that there, what do we do? Helped out in the Eastern North Sea. That might work. Because even though you own it, they still might be trying to deploy stuff there. All right. So I've got a good amount of that. Could use more of that. Uh, if I have to choose something, Ideological Crusader. Sure, why not? Cool. By me not going to war, I actually have a surplus of artillery now. And a little bit of a deficit of guns, huh? Less guns. If that's the case... Let me do that. There you go. Increase our steel need, that's okay, because Shaky's got enough for me. Yes, and I don't have enough for myself, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> Japan. Japan's letting me buy some now, so that's good. Nice. Do we have anything over here? No, I don't. I probably have plenty of supplies for the rest of the game, though, so I'm, I'm set. Mm -hmm. Except for medium tanks. Medium tanks, I need to make more of those. And planes, of course. Wow, there's a hundred, almost a hundred, four hundred million population in the states of the British Raj. And I can access 0.1% of that manpower. I get half a million manpower from the Raj. <laughs> just because they that that that's crazy. That that small amount. Well, yeah, but there's just so much that even at a yeah, fraction. it's insane. Oh. Okay, almost green air in Western Germany. If I could get, I'm I'm destroying them in yellow air. So if I got green air, that that would be great. Yeah, that'd be good. I've almost got a kind of big encirclement. Better than just the one tile ones I've been getting. Nice. Wait, call to arms. A Chinese American. I can call you into another war? Are you at war with someone that I'm not? Oh, I don't think. Actually, I don't think I'm at war with Venice. Oh. That's probably what it is. I mean, you don't have to yeah. say yes. Yeah, you should say no. It doesn't really matter. I, it's I just Venice, so. <laughs> oh, they went back to Danzig, yeah, huh? No. Oh no, sad day. They they actually ended up uh, they ended up killing that heavy tank that was sitting in Trieste. No, the movie. The second one. <laughs> yeah. Well, the first one escaped, but then, but then another one got in there. <gasps> Breaking sad. my heart. Oh no. Yeah, yeah the sequel. <laughs> Doesn't no. end so happily. God, that'd be so heart wrenching if you saw that in real life. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, for okay, for a second there, it looked like Hungary, the literal Trans Danubia. It looks like it's just one big old like oh, lake or something because it's so white, but just Western Germany. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a lake. I'm like, ah, wow. Well, what what, well, what did I, you do to Hungary? Looks like my puppets are now just relentlessly attacking in the Balkans. Nice. Having some success, actually, in the south. Nice. We may capitulate West Germany, too. That, oh. that would be good. How close are they? Let me. There's a really long list here of nations. 
Oh, yeah, they're 95% of the way towards capitulation. Hey, man, if though. you do that, I capitulated the Raj's episode, so that's pretty good. Yeah. And then France will be free. Well, well, we might have to go around the Maginot, but that shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't be, yeah. And once France is capitulated, that might just lead to a domino effect of everybody in Western Europe falling. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. And then you invade the UK. Yes. And the UK I... does not have many divisions, so it should not be a problem. Until they gang... and the Americans gang up on you in the UK, and you're like, oh my yeah. goodness, my naval invasion died. Oh. Yeah, I, I need some revenge after all those American and British naval invasions. The, U, <laughs> the, the U.S. actually doesn't have any very many divisions either. Probably because we've encircled them all. <gasps> nope, nice. There they are. Yeah. Very nice. Perfect. Maybe I can get a tank on the Maginot before the French garrison it. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Oh, when I do go to war with Afghanistan, I'm gonna uh, call you in, just let you know. I mean, you'll be oh, fine. Yeah. I'm just attacking from yeah. your territory, so. Yeah, no worries. Uh, let's see, Malaya, they have enemy as air superiority. There's a lot of potential naval invasions here and there, I guess. Oh no, the French, they've already garrisoned the Maginot. I guess no problem going around it, though. That's oh. fine. Sounds a little historical. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the Russians going around the Maginot. Nice. Stuttgart, very good, very good. Actually, once I'm done with Afghanistan, I'll move on to the Raj. Not the Raj, I would kill the Raj. Afghanistan to t t Iran. Yeah. Oh, I should probably get more tanks. I should maybe develop 1936 artillery. Oh my goodness. There's so much Ooh. I need to develop. <laughs> Ooh, we just got a very interesting weapon that was just researched. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah, this, this is going to be very fun from now on. Let's start building some nuclear reactors around the country. Oh, man, I should have went for nukes. I don't think I could really do it, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. That may be useful. It, it, it seemed more useful in the past when I was still having problems with breaking the enemy, but mm -hmm. still could come in handy if depending on how good or bad invading the UK goes. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Any more resistance? 96. Come on, come on. We can get there. We just need to go to war. Let's push up from the south, which we should do pretty well with because they can't even garrison their own entire full line. Oh, you know what? You guys... Besides the Rhineland and Bavaria, Germany's looking a little better. And, of course, the really cursed Sudetenland. Oh, I yeah. Maybe, I guess I could probably give them control of the Sudetenland just to make it look better. Yeah, yeah you could, probably. Oh, a little bit of lag. Yep, oh, there, there he goes. There nice. That's, that's not too that's bad. A lot better, yeah. I mean, at this point, you must... Bavaria's the only problem now. <laughs> a good old yeah, German once blob. I, once I deal with France, we can, we can declare war on them. Oh my goodness, how many more days until I can go to war with Afghanistan? Sorry, just a little, little, just a little faster speed, even though our, our connection probably can't handle it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's fine. I, I'm not doing too much now. If I move my fleet, will they get destroyed? They might. Oh, thank God I can go with Afghanistan now. All right, boys, here we go. There. There. Okay. Thank you. So far, it seems like we're winning. Yes, yeah, that Afghanistan. Asian Alliance. Huh. Portugal, Afghanistan, and oh, the Portuguese wait. Angola. 
Ah, uh, um, okay. That's... That looks more like European, <laughs> African, yeah. Asian, kind of Asian. That's an interesting faction. Hmm. Yeah, I've never seen that one happen before. Holy yeah. cow. Afghanistan's the only major, so take them out. Wait, and it's wait, done. what? They are? Yeah. yeah. Well, how is Afghanistan a major what Portugal isn't? No. Portugal well, says guess... they have at least 79 factories. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Ask, ask Paradox over <laughs> up to 56. I don't, I don't know. Cool. Wow. Um... Not sure where I really put these guys. You don't really need help over there. Oh, I know what I could do. It could cause a potential future issue for D Shaky. Oh no. Later on, not, not right now. Oh, 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 okay, okay. You'll see what happens. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna risk my navy, guys. Everyone who's watching, we are going to attempt to navally convoy raid in the Bay of Bengal, which hopefully probably doesn't do very much, and hopefully we don't get sunk. But you know, that's just me. Actually, the Arabian Sea might be better to do. Regardless, we are out of time in this episode, Dishiki, and I will close it off for us. So, all right, everyone, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, because we did pretty well, I capitulated the Raj. I'm almost done with Afghanistan now. Dishiki has pushed quite a bit west in Europe. So we're having a pretty good time, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe to either one of us if you haven't yet already. And I guess we will see you all tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.